Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for Pisces season. How are you? Um, I am using the Primrose and Prose Oracle deck. I found this on Etsy. If you want to look it up, links will be below for all the stuff that I'm doing. If you want to book a personal reading, there will be links for that too. I don't do extendeds for y'all to pay for, but if you would like more information on this reading, if it applies for you, we can work that out. Um, oh my gosh. This has been happening to me like a lot, guys. I'm sorry. Like that might continue to happen. I don't know what's going on, but I just keep my cards spill and fall all over the floor lately. It's very embarrassing. Okay, let's see what we got for you. One of them did fall upright, so we're gonna go with that one. Now we have I in reverse, and then we have Leo in reverse. You're choosing not to look within and deal with your own shadows, or maybe it's your ego. It could be a bit of both. I'm getting, like you know there's some inner work you need to do, but you're 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 very proud to be who you are. So you're like, well, why work on that? Like, is everybody gonna work on themselves? <laughs> and you know, if I do the work on myself, don't be like that. Okay, so I'm also using the Sailor Moon deck. Um, I found this on Amazon. It's the Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3. This is not a full tarot deck if you do get this, though. I just want to throw that out there. This is Major Arcana, and that's it. So if you buy this and you're like, oh, my God, like, yeah, I know. I was there, too. <laughs> so, But I use this to just clarify the Oracle. And then the next two decks, um, I'm telling this for all the signs. This is my first upload to YouTube for all the signs and the collective divine masculine and feminine feminine bleh, um you know just giving my introductions because this is my spiritual channel i do have a gaming channel and i did have a blog vlog channel excuse me i don't know if i'm still going to use it but like we'll see and then like all my other links to social media and whatnot if you want to follow me and and you know hang out and all that there, we can do that so um all right so what i was saying was it seems like gemini there's some inner work you got to do for yourself all right we have the hierophant in reverse and then we also have the judgment yeah yeah maybe it's something you're healing from from a past relationship or like you fell out with a friend and you feel like maybe this, maybe the other party is like saying shit or trying to get people to see you in a certain way. And you've decided not to retaliate. Like, what's the point? Like, let them have their moment if they need it, I guess. But what does that have to do for you or with you? Um, and next thing you know, like, everybody's calling out this person. They're falling out with them, too, because, like, there's only so much bullshit you can, like swallow down from a person before like everybody else decides they have food poisoning from that asshole too so i'm gonna start with your uh your general reading with the light seers tarot um i don't know why i was stumbling like that i'm just having like a really bad adhd moment it's been a, it's been quite a night let me tell you <laughs> i just remember to have a butterfinger in my fridge oh it melted in the car yesterday and I was doing a favor for my mom while she was at work. And man, <laughs> uh, life. But it, it's been in the fridge, so now I can definitely eat it for dessert. So I'm excited. But yeah. I don't know why I felt the need to share that with y'all, but like, I don't know. We're friends now, right? As I'm doing you readings, I'm looking into... The universe to give you answers that you seek that you don't even know that you're looking for but they're there no <laughs> also if these readings don't resonate that is absolutely fine you don't have to argue in my comments about it you don't it's not necessary i i'm more likely I'm probably not going to respond because i don't really need that energy it's it's not meant for me it's just you fussing to yourself okay but if you would want a personal reading that's fine, but again, um, not all general readings that I give are going to resonate for everybody. That's why they're general. So if you want a personal reading, if you vibe with what I'm talking about, or you just like the way that I do readings, cool, you know. 
Um, I also do like romance and stuff like that. So like you'll see that around occasionally, but it just depends on how I'm feeling most of the time. But these generals will be every Sunday. And uh, also, you know, always check in on your sun, moon, rising, um, Venus, whatever resonates, like whatever you're looking for at the time. And divine masculine, divine feminine, the collective, if you don't really resonate with any of that, it exists. But anyways, this is about you, Gemini. So let me see what I can do for you. Okay. So we have the page of wands in reverse. The moon in reverse and the four cups someone is not happy with themselves like at all and they're definitely not happy with all the shit that's being thrown in their face so with this page of wands like i feel like you had an immature fire sign just i mean like i don't get the point she's like throwing this shit up in the air and there's like a circle i know it's supposed to be symbolic like she's just having a good time but you gotta understand the page of wands is not someone that's here to offer you anything permanent. <laughs> They're just here to have a good time. And a lot of them having a good time can be very destructive when it becomes a point that whoever's around them is trying to be serious or has like stuff going on. And all they want to do is just like kick sand up in the sandbox and just see how many people they can scar like uh with sand by kicking it in their corneas like why would you do that so if it's not necessarily that you're dealing with a fire sign it could be somebody with like fire energy or fire in their chart but i get the feeling like somebody was doing something extremely immature and you've gotten to a point where you just no longer let it get to you anymore or better yet like you just don't really fuck with that person anymore that's what i should say like their antics maybe they still do shit that bother you or they tell people a narrative so that you look like you're the bad person for not wanting to put up with their shit whatever that's their problem but gemini like whatever this person did you know you got the moon in reverse you you're just like kind of falling out with your spiritual self and I feel like this person like really really hurt you and you're not really looking to make it into a big deal because like the way that they hurt you is still silly when you think about it but there's a part of you that's like wow like I really didn't plan a life without them being around like you know this could be a significant other it could be a fling that probably did something embarrassing and it got out or you know maybe this is a co-worker just being dramatic i don't know but like definitely like i said with the judgment i feel like somebody was doing something to hurt you and everybody found out and maybe they were also trying to say stuff for people to not be around you anymore or take their side or whatever but a hit dog will holler all right like that's how it's gonna be but yeah the moon in reverse um that could be cancer energy that could be pisces energy it could even be scorpio energy if you want but usually it's piscean energy as i throw the card on the fucking floor but I'm getting the feeling like you're just, you're doing a lot of self-doubt. Like you're not trusting yourself because like, we all get to that point where we're like, fuck, I should have seen that coming. But Gemini, you're a human being. Like allow yourself to make mistakes. Allow yourself to just have a moment of innocence and don't put yourself down for giving benefit of the doubt. You were the one that was being kind and thoughtful. The other person, they didn't deserve your kindness. That's all that is. Goodbye. Now with that four of cups, you're, yeah, it's right next to the moon in reverse. This is your future card. This is more like a warning, but like, you see how she's looking at, she's looking at nothing. She's like brooding about all the cups that are empty. And then, but if she looks like there's a lot of good things here, they're right in front of her. So maybe this person and you, maybe y'all have been together for a very long time and you just had to cut it off because it was going nowhere or it was extremely toxic. Maybe... You had to leave your job because they, you know, like this person is getting too much. No one is, you feel like on the outside, nobody is taking what's happened to you seriously, but there's a lot of people in your corner than you know. So it's easy to get caught up and dwell in like, you know, worst case scenarios, but like you're very supported, Gemini. It's just that like you people don't want to deal with this clown either so don't beat yourself up over the fact that like things are going in a different path maybe you have people coming in and you haven't even seen it yet i mean this is the four of cups this is emotions 
And this could also be a resting period, but I feel like you're just taking some time to collect how you really feel about the situation, about the person and whatnot, or, you know, one or the other. But the universe is literally telling you, don't dwell. Like, literally, there's so much good in your corner, but you have to just look and see it. it it's not going to just make itself known. Like, you have to appreciate it for what it is. So, I'm going to clarify with the Game of Thrones deck. I feel like you could use that. <laughs> Right. Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. These cars are about to start spilling everywhere. Okay, all those fell upright, but I can't use every single one of them. But one of them did fall alone on the floor, so we'll take that. That one wanted to say something to you. Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups over the Page of Wands. We have the Page of Swords over the Moon in Reverse. And then we have the Seven of Spears in Reverse over the Four of Cups. All right. Um... The universe is saying a lot of what you think you have to do, you don't have to do on your own, but it's waiting for you to re to recognize that. So with the Knight of Cups over the Page of Wands, this is kind of funny to me. Because <laughs> like both of these are temporary energies coming in. The Knight of Cups is like kind of something to be considered because at least he's trying. Like he even has an offer for you. But the Page of Wands is just... I mean, it like, this could also be translated as sexual energy. Like, this person is just fucking throwing their genitals everywhere. And you're like, bitch, go pick it up. What is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> um, so, uh, I feel like you have a water sign coming in. Or somebody that's, like, very in tune with their emotions. But they're not really ready to handle you, Gemini, because they know you've been through a lot. Or they're acknowledging the fact that now is not a time to, like, try to do intimate stuff together but they really admire you so they're gonna come in and maybe they're gonna offer to take you to dinner or something like that like and i feel like you don't even see that offer coming because next you got the page of swords but you also got the moon in reverse so already you have two pages in the reading page of swords someone's spying on you or maybe you're doing the spying like it could be like that person from before is like telling people shit and then like looking on your social media to see like oh what club are you going to be hanging out at what restaurants you're going to be hanging out at where do you work maybe i can get in with your boss and like you know uh try to convince them that you need to lose your job because you're not you know you're not giving me the attention i want the reaction i want like whoever this person is they're definitely like some sort of like controlling toxic narcissist or something or they're just like so deeply possessed uh by not possessed by you but possessed by something they're obsessive and they want to possess you is what i meant to say like they're very controlling and you're their new fixation it's just that you gotta once you realize like this person is just not all there and you just suit a temporary need that they want they want attention but they want your attention and the le the the less you give them the more they fuck off like maybe not right away they're still gonna keep trying they're gonna send people to look like they might even have people like spying on you or spying on your social media to see like if you're thinking about them if you're with somebody else like it's it's a very awkward like box like not box closing that's what i was gonna say you feel like you're being backed up into a corner you're just like can you please go away why are you bothering me like that like yeah if you're i mean if this is unsafe like definitely get a restraining order or something i would say but it's your life, Gemini. I can't tell you what to do, but this is, if this is something abusive or your life is in danger or somebody around you, like, don't entertain it. Just, like, do what you can to stay out of it, but then also get the help you need. Don't be stubborn. Um, so we have the Seven of Spears in reverse over the Four of Cups. Remember I said earlier, like, you, you, you are supported. You just probably don't know it at the time because people don't want to deal with the craziness like not saying that you have to but people just don't want to deal with it it's it's something that even like just take it for what it is 
no one else seems bothered by it so why are you like this person might be saying bad things or like trying to get people to see you a certain way but are they though or is it all in your mind you know so the seven of swords in reverse or it is swords right spear excuse me um you're taking like you're wondering if it's even worth it to stand up for yourself but the universe is like i mean you you've already done the work of like acknowledging you deserve better you're staying out of it you're not really like now when i say entertaining i don't mean like you know I don't mean like, you know, just ignore them and then like don't do anything about it. But I feel like you've just gotten to a point in life where or in the situation where you've accepted that's just how they're going to be. So if you get mad at them for doing dumb shit, like what now you're a dumb ass, right? Like because you're doing dumb people shit like they want you to they want your attention and then here you are giving it to them by responding and, you know, doing the whole woe is me, you know, or not saying you're you're being a victim like in a bad way i mean you are a victim of something if, the, if it's this bad but don't sit in the mentality of this is something you deserve and oh well there's nothing i can do to change it life must really hate me please don't do that gemini especially you like what no you know that's not true so i'm getting the feeling that eventually you're going to get to a point where the only way to stand up for yourself is to let them do what they do, not acknowledge them, and then make sure that you are safe and that you're at a good peace of mind because they have no right to keep just bothering you the way that they are. So I hope this resonates. This is your reading. Definitely, again, before I close out, stay safe. If you would like a personal reading, links are below to book with me. Make sure you're talking to me as I hear there's a lot of scams on youtube with uh, tarot and whatnot i will extend this reading for you if you feel it resonates but i'm not going to do an extended that you have to pay for and it's still a generalization a personal reading would be we're just you know we're vibing it's a little coffee moment and we share each other's energy from there so again gemini i hope this resonated i will see you next sunday i upload every sunday not at any specific time just sundays is usually when you catch videos being uploaded like, share, and subscribe. I will talk to you another time. Bye.